We got work done. Um, we'll see tomorrow when we watch the video how it looked. Um, you know, is it just good to get back out on the field? And you know, uh, there was there was a lot of energy. They they had a lot of energy to them today. There was a lot good spirit. Um, so yeah, it was exciting to to just get started. Music when we first walked in, letting us in in the first place. I see you're still hanging out with the safeties. Did you find your way around today? Um, somewhat. Like it, you know, I mean, it's it's one of those things, right? Like that you're. You know, I'm, I'm active, but it's also you hire good people to coach, you know, and so you let them coach. And so there's times that, that you're sitting there and you're fighting that. It's like, oh, I saw something. But then all of a sudden, you know, Jason Petrino was on. It was like, okay, now, good job, Jason. You know, that's a good, you know, so you try to figure that out. It was good, though. I mean, it was good. I, it's, um, uh, it's a balance, right? Like you want to... Um, you know, I was with the offense some, I was with the defense some, it was, it was good. Uh, Jay, I guess first day in, I mean, what do you, what do you like about this, this group that you saw today? Uh, I think just the, the eagerness, the enthusiasm, the, um, the overall work ethic. I mean, we had a really good pace going for our first practice today. And um, when you're getting through as many plays as we had scripted and able to repeat plays, you know, and, and get, diff, you know, hey, let's run that one again and do that. I think um, it was really good. I mean, the pace and the, and the tempo to it was, I was really pleased with that for a first day. Were Evan and, and Jay Johnson, as far as being on the same script, obviously uh, probably some different wrinkles going on right now? Yeah, I mean, I, I think, um, First of all, you know, all the quarterbacks are really, really engaged and bought into, you know, to what we're doing. Um, and I think that Evan especially is, has been really, really good with that. And, um, no, it's been, uh, you know, I sat and, you know, when I can, you know, and, and not involved with something else, I, I, I sit in the quarterback meetings quite a bit. I was in there this morning, I was in there yesterday, just as much as anything because you – you kind of get the full picture of a lot of things offensively by sitting in there. Those guys are doing good with the with the grasp of what is being presented to them right now. So it's really good. Jay, uh, you said it was going to look a little different on offense. Uh, we going to see a little bit of spread mixed in with some power running game. Well, I mean, I, you know, I mean, we did. I mean, in theory, there's spread stuff that was involved with our offense a year ago too, and, and in in the previous years. I, however, you define that. Um, you know, I mean, there's certainly going to be things that, that we use, you know, open type sets and, and stuff like that in. And, and um, but, you know, I mean, that's, that's all stuff that really most people do and, and everybody does. And um, this is all about utilizing our players. You know, that's really what it is, is, is um, you know, I told the offense yesterday, one of the things that we're going to do at the end of the spring, we're going to rank out all of our skill players, you know, one through ten. And we better have those guys that are one through five on the field a whole lot more than guys that are six through ten. That's, that's the way it is. And so that's what we evaluate every day. Just overall, what are you kind of looking for out of Evan across these next couple of weeks? Um, I think the, the overall command and the overall, you know, the, the decisiveness that, okay, hey, if I'm, if I'm going somewhere with the ball, I'm going there right now. Um, if I'm... Um, you know, if I'm pulling it in the run game, boom, it's, you know, just the decisiveness to it. The, and then the ability, once we get into certain things as we go in the spring, of managing as many situations as we can put them in as possible. We'll do a lot of two-minute this spring. Uh, we'll do a lot of uh, situational things this spring that, that I, you know, I want to, you know, I mean, he's a new starting quarterback. And we have 40 three more practices until we play a game. And so we've got we to put him in a lot of situations to do that. You mentioned how some of the big guys, you know, Thea and Connor had made these strides in the weight room, but what's it like to see, you know, like Devin Bobby and some of these receivers kind of filling out now? Yeah, I mean, our bodies look good right now. I mean, you know, um, like I said the other day, and we, we gained 510 pounds a year ago 
in this offseason cycle. And this year we're 641. I mean, we got we have guys that are that look good. I mean, they're you know it's not just them. It's Sebastian Harsh. It's you know you see guys that just they look good. They're filled out right now. And and uh, you know I mean they're doing everything you know the way that that we've asked them to do. I mean they've you know they're buying in nutritionally. They're buying in from a strength and conditioning standpoint. Um, there's an expectation and, and all we take care of and all we talk about is what we do next. You know, tomorrow's lift and eat and recover and meet, do those things. And then Thursday we go back to practice again. So that's kind of where we're at. You kind of sticking with the one two is now how nice is it to have guys like Alex Brown, Will Pelletier, just experienced guys in that, in that IPF today. Yeah, Will, Will, I don't, you guys weren't there at that time. Will made a really nice catch today. And told me, you know, he got up and come over to me. He's like, I told you I was going to, wasn't just blowing it all last Tuesday at that pro day. So I, it was good to see him out running around. Alex Brown made some nice catches today. Um, you know, big fans of both of those guys. Um, they both have a lot of talent, and we got to get big production from them. And, you know, I think that's the biggest thing about it is just like get the production from talent, right? And, you know, Alex Brown is one, and that's, you know, I said before, I'm going to be a big cheerleader for Alex Brown, and he hears me with that every day. I want him to be, I want him to have a big year, um, and he's going to need to, and so it was good to have those guys out there. Jay, is Connor Shea ready to take the next step and do a full-time gig, and if not, why? No, I think he is. Um, I think he definitely is. Um, I think what happens sometimes with players is, um, you know, there's a little bit of that self-fulfilling prophecy, right? Like if they see themselves as a backup, then they prepare to a certain level and they, they attention to details to a certain level. And then all of a sudden you see yourself as like, hey, I'm a starter or I've got that chance to start. And now there's a preparation and a detail to a different level. Shea Sudanoa went through that a couple years ago. You know, when he was a backup, his attention level was like to here. And then when he had a chance to start, it got better and, and do that. And I think Connor's in the same boat. There's no limitations on Connor Shea. I mean, he, sh he should be a good player for us and, and needs to be a good player for us. What does it mean to you to have a player like Jaden Clemens just keep fighting um, to the end, I guess, of his career? Yeah, I'm happy with Jaden right now, just his attitude and, and demeanor and everything. Um, look, Jaden Clemens, you know, you say what you want, like last year, um, as a, uh, you know, here's a guy that started a Boise game in 2022, right? Um, was a quarterback for three quarters when we beat CSU in, in 22. Um, a year ago, he's on a scout team, right? He could have pouted, he could have complained and moaned and done everything else. It's about ready to use a different word. Um, but he could have done all that stuff and he didn't, right? Like he um, had a great attitude day in, day out. He's proven he's a good teammate. And so, um, you know, we're going to give him every opportunity to do the best that he can in the program and, and see where that takes him. Aaron Bull looks like a natural out there. He's fine. You know, I don't have to worry about him. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's one of those things, uh, like he, he's fine. He'll, he'll be really good in the role that he's in. Um, he's ready for it, and uh, no, I don't, I mean, he'll still do a great job with the linebackers, and I'm comfortable, you know, with him calling everything defensively, and, um, you know, so yeah, we're, we're fortunate with that. Um, no, you know what, actually, he did keep it under control a little bit today, and so I was kind of, um, I was happy. I mean, I, he, he did. He did a really nice job, though, through the course of the practice and threw a couple really, really good balls and, um, you know, pulled the ball once at a really good time to pull it. Um, just, you know, I, I, th there's just going to be a lot of growth. And he is so excited. He's so engaged. Um, you know, and that guy's ready. You know, I mean, he, he will be ready. Um, when the season starts, and so um, really looking forward to seeing him every day. So it was fun today because you know it's kind of different, right? Like you go to practice, and your you know first practice as a head coach, and and 
like for him, it's like his first full-time deal as a starting quarterback and just see him right before practice. He's like, you ready to do this? I'm like, yeah. So this is good. So I'm, I'm, it, it, we're, we're, we've got a really good thing going, so we're happy for him. Did you talk to Craig Ball at all? I saw him online in a Hawaiian shirt. He looks like he's even drawn out the hair on the side. You know, I haven't talked to him, uh, I haven't talked to him for a couple weeks. Um, uh, so I need to call him though here sometime soon, but I, I've not talked to him. I mean, he's got, he told me um, a month ago that he was going to call Tom Berman and ask to come back as a graduate assistant. And because uh, I think the job that he's got right now, try to chase down all this, uh, you know, this state of college football and, and where all these rules are and, and all these different things and trying to, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't envy him with that. So, uh, but if he wants to come back as a GA, I guess maybe we'll think about it. So, uh, it looks like Harrison's healthy and running well. And you know, with the line, where do you feel about his progress and recovery and being able to get back to that one-two punch? Yeah, first of all, with Harrison, Harrison feels great. Harrison is in a great spot. Harrison is super happy with how he feels right now. Harrison has had a great off season. Uh, his speeds have been really good, and and just his. I mean, Harrison's in a really good spot. His weight's up. Um, he's 204 right now. I think last year, a lot of the year, he was like 190, you know, and stuff like that. So, I mean, Harrison's in a really good spot. DeWyan is coming along. Um, you know, and, and you know, we know that he won't practice in the spring, and he's, he's coming along from a surgery that he had there. And, you know, the injury was in August, the surgery is September. Um, you know, so we bring him along. and. And we know that he's a really high level athlete. And when the time comes that he's cleared that we can start to utilize him, then we will. But I mean, I thought, you know, overall, I mean, it's, it's nice to see uh, Jamari Farrell uh, had a really, you know, I thought he did some good things today, looked good. Um, DJ Jones, I tell him like kind of every day, I'm like, I'm glad you're here. And so that's kind of that too. So I, f I feel good with that room. Sam Scott looks like Christian McCaffrey. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Sam Scott. And the one thing that the one thing with Sam Scott that we've got to do um, is is utilize him maybe in multiple different things. And so that's something that that we've talked about. And so he's got to learn quite a bit of stuff because I mean, it's a guy that can run it well and he catches it well. And so um, so yeah, there's some things there that that we're kind of you know, I, uh, there's. I mean, he's he's a good he's a good looking athlete, and um, and so it was good to see him too. I should have added him in that group too. We, we got a good room there. Jack, you got any questions? Um, yeah, just one, Coach um, Jack Nellis from the Star Tribune. Um, just wondering, was was there one unit or one group that you were focused on today, or was it just kind of looking at everybody? Just kind of looking at everybody because I didn't really know how to focus myself half the time, I, and I'm just kidding. But like the reality was, is a, like, you know, um, no, I, I I looked at a lot of. I mean, I tried to get around everywhere today, you know, in in that, and um, so there wasn't a particular focal point. Um, I think maybe after we get a couple practices in, and you kind of see where certain positions are and where certain, you know, things can be, then maybe there, there becomes a more directed focal point. But um, today I couldn't give you an honest answer about like focusing on one specific area of the team.